Okay, this question says uh, we're going to factorise uh, an expression and it's got some squared terms and some cube terms in it and we always ask ourselves factorise starts with the word factor so we're looking for factors and we're going to ask ourselves are there a common factor to all terms which would imply just one bracket uh, to the factorisation or is there not a common term to all terms which would imply two brackets so let's have a look um, 20 and 24, common factor 4, W and W, so there is a common factor to both terms, so it will be a single bracket factorisation, so that means we're going to be looking for something to go inside the bracket, and we're looking for the highest common factor of both terms to go outside the bracket. So 20 and 24, highest common factor is 4, uh, W squared and W, highest common factor would be W, Y and Y cubed, highest common factor would be Y. So we take each of those terms, so 20 w squared y, and divide it by 4 wy, and 24 wy cubed, and divide that by 4 wy. And what we get left from here goes inside the factor, inside the bracket. So we've got 20 divided by 4 is 5, w squared divided by w leaves us with a w, and y divided by y cancels to 1, so we're left here with a 5 and a w, so that goes inside the bracket there. We've got a plus sign, and 24 divided by 4 is 6, uh, w divided by w means they've cancelled to 1, so 6 times 1 is 6 still, and y cubed divided by y uh, means we've uh, changed this into a squared term rather than... Always check, so we should check by multiplying out. So we've got 4 times 5 is 20, w times w is w squared, and we've got a y involved, so that bit checks. 4 times 6 is 24, w times, yep, so we've got w, y times y squared is y cubed, so that checks out as well. So we can be confident our answer is 4yw brackets 5w plus 6y squared. Now the second part of this question is asking us to factorise again. Uh, so again we're going to be looking to see whether it's a single bracket or a double bracket factorisation. So we look at each term and we can see, hopefully fairly quickly, that there isn't a common term. So we can't do it into a single bracket. It's a quadratic, so this is going to be the classic uh, two bracket uh, factorisation. And the beginning part of each bracket must be m m times m is m squared, and the end part of the two brackets uh, must multiply to give us negative 40, and add to give us plus 3. This trick, uh, technique only works, it is a trick really, but this technique only works when we've got a single m squared. So we're looking for two numbers that multiply to give us negative 40, so negative 10 times 4, uh, 10 times negative 4, um, 8 times negative 5, negative 5 times 8, a uh, whole ream of things, but we can see hopefully fairly quickly now that we want a 3, positive 3, and when we see these two numbers, they add together to give us positive 3. So I know the answer is going to be plus 8 and take away 5, negative 5. Um, we should check it, of course, um, so classic way of checking would be to either use the grid method or foil, if you uh, like using foil. So it's a times in grid, so m times m, m squared, m times 8, 8m, negative 5 times m, minus 5m, negative 5m, uh, 8 times negative 5, negative 40, take away 40. The two terms here are like, so they come together, so 8m's, take away 5m's, is 3m's. So we've got the m squared, we've got the 3m's, and we've got the negative 40, so it works. So our answer will be m plus 8, m, take away 5.